Hi, I'm Stephen with AlbertaUrbanGarden.ca. On today's episode, we're going to talk about using spent coffee grounds in your garden and their benefits. Programs like Grounds for Your Garden at Starbucks provide spent or used coffee grounds at no cost to you. These coffee grounds can be applied in a number of different ways to not only help build your soil over time organically, but feed your plants. Used coffee grounds are high in nitrogen, phosphorus, and potassium. And they also have some of the trace elements that are considered beneficial or essential to plant growth. My local Starbucks was kind enough to provide me with samples of their used and unused coffee grounds to take down to Maxim Analytics for analysis. We had these samples analyzed for pH, immediately available NPK, and available and unavailable trace elements. A common concern about using coffee grounds in your garden is that it will change the pH of your soil. Changing the pH of your soil drastically can interrupt the nutrient cycle by disrupting beneficial organisms and impede your plant's ability to uptake required nutrients. The pH of unused coffee grounds was reported at 5.88 and the used grounds at 5.4. These are on the lower end of the range of pHs that are optimal for plant growth according to Dr. Perry of the University of Vermont. If you're using the coffee grounds in a compost, the actual composting process will neutralize the grounds, bringing it much closer to a 7. If you're applying it as a mulch, you're applying such a little volume in comparison to the soil that any acidity that transfers will be neutralized by the soil's own buffering capacity. So now that we know the used coffee grounds are not impacting the pH of our soil, let's talk about the nutrients that they're adding. In order to talk about the nutrients, we've converted some of these results to NPK while leaving the trace elements as milligrams per kilogram. The lab results represent what is immediately available to the plant. The lab uses a weak acid wash to replicate soil conditions and isolate the available organic nitrogen, phosphorus, and potassium. The NPK of used coffee grounds is 0 0.00083, 0.20080, and 0 0.771. Well, unused coffee grounds have an NPK of 0 0.00036, 0 0.3208, and 2.41. Although these numbers are low when comparing to commercially available products, this only represents what's immediately available to our plants. Larger quantities of nitrogen and trace elements are tied up in bigger, more complex molecules that are not represented in this and require some time to break down in order to become available to the plants. According to a number of studies, the nitrogen concentration of used coffee grounds ranges between 2.05% and 1.18%. This range is likely because of a number of factors. First is the variety of coffee chosen. The second is the roasting technique used and the third is the brewing technique used. All of these can have an impact on the amount of nitrogen left over in the spent grounds. The lab results give us the total available and unavailable concentrations of phosphorus and potassium. These results are 1300 milligrams per kilogram and 6200 milligrams per kilogram respectively. So this gives us an NPK of 2.05 0.2979 and 0.7469. Used coffee grounds, according to our results, also have a good amount of calcium, magnesium, and sulfur, while other sources have results including copper, sodium, manganese, zinc, and iron. When using as part of a mulch layer, it is important to use with other organic materials. Be careful not to use excessive amounts. Applying too thick of a layer of used coffee grounds to the surface can create a cap, preventing water infiltration. Then, the coffee grounds will actually ferment, releasing both heat and acidic compounds that can damage your soil and your plant's roots. As long as your mulch layer isn't too thick, you shouldn't need to worry about this creating a hot compost. Applying these used coffee grounds with things like fall leaves or wood chips will help them break down together, feeding your soil. As this occurs above the rooting zone and outside of the soil, you shouldn't need to worry about any nutrient depletion of your soil in the rooting zone where the plants need it. Using spent coffee grounds as a part of your mulch can help attract earthworms to the surface, 
the earthworms not only use the spent coffee grounds as a food source, but they also use it in their gut to mechanically break down the other food. And what they leave behind is fantastic worm castings. Through mulch or vermicomposting, what's left behind is a slow-release fertilizer that adds bacteria, humus, and nutrients that further enhance the nutrient cycle within your own soil. The second way to use spent coffee grounds in your garden is to incorporate them into your compost. Used coffee grounds have a good nitrogen content. Adding them together with roughly equivalent volumes by weight of brown materials such as fall leaves or wood chips will create a hot compost. This process has been shown to release nutrients locked up in more complex molecules quickly while neutralizing any high or low pH components. Application of the compost can be done as a mulch or assuming the compost material is broken down sufficiently, mixed directly into your soil. I do not recommend mixing in undecomposed used coffee grounds directly into your soil. This can cause a number of issues, including temporarily lowering the pH quickly, creating a nutrient drawdown as the grounds decompose, and the release of excess heat into the rooting zone that can not only damage roots, but the beneficial organisms and the soil structure that we rely upon. The use of spent coffee grounds in your garden goes beyond just the addition of organic material and nutrients to your soil. This free and local resource can help you replace traditional store-bought products while diverting waste that would otherwise go to a landfill. Next time, we're going to talk about the use of espresso and coffee as an organic fertilizer. Thank you very much for joining me today. I appreciate it very much, and I hope you have a fantastic day.